What is up, guys? This is Raiden from the Dexmiths. Might know me as Raiden from Team Raiden Dark Games. A big Yu-Gi-Oh! channel, but uh, YouTube. Long story short, YouTube deleted it, whatever, lost everything. We're starting with the Dexmiths. So here we go, Raiden with Dexmiths. We're doing Mass Saiyan, aka Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. It's the starter deck uh, leader. I brought him to San Jose. For some of you guys might have seen the deck profile. Pretty successful. I love him a lot, and I wanted to revive him for the set four cards. And let's begin. So I'm gonna leave it around here. Glare's gonna be crazy, so it's gonna be kind of weird how I organize the cards. But let us begin. So we're doing four trunks, four intensifying power trunks. He's just freaking awesome. He's like what three dollars for a reason. He's really good. He crits. This leader crits. We're Gooch. Uh, tri uh, triple Saiyan Kaba. I'm gonna try to organize this the best I can, but it is two in the morning. I worked a double today. I'm pretty really tired, but I'll do what I can. Uh, Kaba, I don't like Kaba that much, but I just want more awakening. But Kaba's, he's all right. He's, he's, he's double straight. Champa, stupid powerful, especially with Bardock, especially with intensifying power trunks. He's just really, really good. Uh, several times during turn two, turn three, I'll just do maybe like six points of damage. In critical alone, it's just stupid good. Uh, Reeve can tell you, makes him tell you, phenomenal. Um, and it also plays almost like San Jose with these set four cards. It's really, really good. And then from there, I have the four Pride of Justice Topos for defense. Given how the game is going right now, you're usually going to use Topo almost always with the two red energy instead of the four because somebody's going to be at 1500, somebody's going to awaken fast. You're usually going to awaken fast, your opponent's going to awaken fast. He's always going to be live. And I have the spiciness of foreseeing hit just to get rid of combo cards in your opponent's hand, just to get rid of important cards that maybe can affect you, like other foreseeing hits and whatnot, just to balance out everything, just to guarantee your crits from going through. Because the worst thing is to, the worst thing is activate main, get the correct, you know, crit and boost, awaken, activate main, crit and boost. And you attack, and then they like combo out of it, and you just lost it. It, it sucks, but a lot. So, those are the red cards. Let me just get all my cards organized real quick, so it's not all messy for you guys. For some of you guys that know me, I had my, my uh, daughter. She's turning one month today, so I don't know with my time when I'll be able to go back to an event. But hopefully soon I'll be able to go with the guys back. Maybe uh, Connecticut, ARG, not sure. Uh, for the blacks, we're starting with minus kill zone. I love this card. Uh, a lot of the decks you're playing right now in locals and other regionals are blue. Blue has a lot of counters, a lot of counters, and blue's usually gonna do counter plays like Weiss. Uh, we just had ARG Boston a few hours ago, and everybody and their mama had Weiss. Everybody's running blue. Everyone's running Hero decks, Trunks decks, Goku decks. Simple, and it's a free draw. It's really good. Uh, you're running the, I'm running personally three, uh, one drop Toas to search the Amira and Mass Saiyans. I like four, but if you want, I basically did for, for minus kill zone. You can take off one minus kill zone, put in four Toa, not a big deal. It's whatever you want to do. Remember, minus kill zone is the extra draw and it does like mill to fill up your drop. So it's personally, personal <laughs> preference. Two gravy and Demigrass Thrall. Oh man, I really want you to be really good, but it's not. It I don't know what to put in yet. Uh, I kind of like it because it's cute. Because you, even though you'll never play this, sometimes you will. But if you attack with this or if you combo with this, you put two cards in your warp back in your drop. It fuels sort of. The idea on paper is that it refuels your drop to overrealm. But in this deck, given that Bardock is always the attacker, along with a little bit of you know mirrors or whatever. It's okay. I mean, it's not. It's something like a mirror leader deck where it's completely different with all black deck. You're running red cards, remember? So you you don't really care about the drop that much. So this card so far is okay, but I take it out. Uh, you're running four super combos. One of the best ones in the game, I think, because it's, it, there's almost no drawback. So you use you need four life for this. It's stupid good, and you can use the trunk combo to get this back in your hand. The only reason. Time Trauma Mass Saiyan. I want to love this card if it was like one energy less or two energies less, but at three, it's a slow card. I just like it because you can take two life and then you warp a card of uh, five or less energies, if I'm not mistaken. 
it's cool. I know it's one o'clock. It's cool, but it's a cute idea. You guys can take it out. Uh, I might take it out. If I had to go to a regional right now, I would take this out and this out. But for right now, eh, more testing. You're running three Relentless Mirrors. It's going to be weird how I organize this deck here on the on the board because of the glare that you can see here. And I don't want to you know, annoy you guys. But three Relentless Destruction Mirrors, if you really wanted to, first turn, you can use a minus kill zone. Then you draw a free card. And then you just Relentless on the field and then they can drop one just to drop it like you know screw it they start with five no nah, it's a cute little play he's all right i mean i kind of like him uh time patrol trunks i had him at four now i have him at three because of deck space and it's not the same mass saying right is not the same as it was in san jose obviously in san jose it was all about the trunks combo trunks combo trunks combo a little bit of crit here and there champa and then that's it now you don't have to rely on Trunks combo anymore. There's several other black cards thanks to set four that you don't need a Trunks combo, which is why I left it at three. Two Mirror from the Darkness. It's critical. It just fuels plays up the booty hole, and it's just good. It's good. Uh, nothing's better than activating a minus kill zone. Then you use Bardock, you mill, you attack with crit. They can't counter, and then you attack with Mirror for crit again. It's, it's just awesome. Uh... Desperate Onslaught Bardock, it's a dash pack promo, if I'm not mistaken. It's really good. It's critical. It only needs five energy, five cards in the drop zone. And it's, uh, your opponent can activate blockers. And read carefully, can activate blockers, and they cannot combo from the battle area. Uh, that's important. I think Migs or Reeve uh, clarified for me real quick. I think it was uh, Reeve. It has to be in the drop zone. I mean the battle area. So their hand, they can still combo, just not the battle area. But it's still stupid good. I mean, it's crit. Like, why not? I probably will increase this and decrease the gravies because we're not running no mashed potatoes. Don't need that gravy. You have your two increasing evil mass saying, more awakening, which, like, toys with all of this, time trauma and the cobblers and whatnot. Another reason why you might not need time trauma just depends on when you get your cards, when you get your awakening cards. Uh, trunks overseeing time power overseeing time uh my favorite over the xeno evolve version of trunks because it's just better you can just w get anything back from your warp instead of playing it on the field just putting your hand and shenanigans from there it's just that much better um i only run the three and three so three time patrol three trunks if you don't do it you don't do it if you do it you do it like I said, you have so many other cards that can help you win the game that you don't even need that anymore. And your two mass saying, <clears throat> the Mysterious Warrior, of course. It's a semi-board wipe, sort of, kind of, maybe. It's still good. It's double strike. It ends game sometimes. Doesn't get rid of blockers, obviously, so that's a problem. But with that, you just get over it with the Bardic Effect. You draw, you combo, all this other shenanigans. So, guys, this is Raiden from the Decksmiths. I hope you enjoyed this deck profile. I will be tuning in a little bit more. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, do all the shenanigans. Let me know, honestly. And if you have any suggestions or anything, just let me know. And we'll be glad to help you out with that. Take it easy, guys.